Hello all, in this video we will see the bottom up evaluation of S attributed definitions. So this is an example that we have discussed in a couple of previous videos that for as an example for S attributed definition because it only has synthesized attributes in it that is all the at, I mean all the gamma symbols are deriving its attribute values from its children. The arrows always goes upwards, isn't it? Isn't it? So uh, you will see uh, how it is evaluated. Actually, the parser is maintaining uh, a stack which is actually a pair of two arrays. That is, it will be having two arrays like this. In the first array, the grammar symbols will be stored. For example, if it is e, the grammar symbol e will be stored. Here, e dot val, the value will be stored. That is, here it is simple, and the other part will have attribute value. So, uh, uh, like this, a pair of arrays is maintained in the form of a stack that is the last in first of data structure and this is how it process or evaluate this data. So, we will see how when uh, as it is a stack, whenever uh, for example, if there is a production A gives X, Y, Z, when this uh, right side is reduced to the left hand side, the top is updated, uh, updated accordingly that is uh, the three symbols here will be replaced with the one symbol on the left hand side isn't it when x y z is reduced to a the three symbols here is replaced with a single symbol uh, which is appearing on the left hand side is so, this, so the top will be decremented by two uh, this is how it works that is like the usual stack whenever reduction happens the right hand side will be replaced by the left hand side and the top pointer will be incremented or decremented accordingly in case of reduction uh, it will be uh, decrementation for sure and uh, you will see an example using this particular input the very same input we will take the very same input we will uh, put an n also because this grammar contain and n for new line which indicates the uh, end of the string is it so we will have input we will have the stack which is a pair of two arrays as i have told you and we will have the reducing productions production used for reducing so these are the three columns that we will have so initially the input is 3 plus 4 into 5n isn't it so initially the stack is empty now production has been used next time we will move the very first symbol in the input to the stack so it will be plus 4 into 5n and uh, on this stack it will be simply 3 on this stack it will be 3 and uh, the I mean uh, the symbol is uh, appearing as 3 if the symbol do not have any attribute value doesn't have any attribute value we can simply put a minus now the production used is nothing now next time see we can reduce this 3 to f isn't it Next time we will use the, uh, we will reduce this 3 to f. In that case, f will be the simple and 3 will be its attribute value. So the production used to see on this stack, this is the grammar simple and the second array is the um, attribute value. So the production used is f gives digit. See, f is giving digit. If you want to see the exact grammar, uh, I'll yeah I'll write the grammar at the end of this video or you can refer to the previous video now I'll write the grammar towards the end of this uh, video so that you can refer that grammar so f is giving digits now uh, we can see next is the simple plus so if you want to give plus you have to somehow turn this into e isn't it because only e is deriving plus e plus t something like that so you have to con keep on converting this f into e then only this plus can be introduced otherwise there is no point in having plus so we will keep on reducing f until it becomes e so f becomes t value is 3 the production used is t gives f now plus 4 into 5 n and the t becomes e because e gives t so it becomes e and the uh, value is 3 the production used is 
E gives T. So now we got E. The next, now E, there is a prediction like E gives E plus T. Now we can consider the plus. That is whenever we are reducing, we just have to, um, we just have to consider the remaining symbols in the input. Okay, that is when we are reducing, when we are attempt to reduce, we should always um, we look at the uh, rest of the input. So here we have plus. So we will uh, move that plus to this tag. So uh, 4 into 5n. So we have e with value 3 plus with value nil. Plus do not have any attribute value as you know. We didn't use any predictions. Now we can move 4 to this tag. So it becomes star 5n. When you move 4 you will get e with the value 3 plus with no attribute value and 4 but no attribute value. Next we have to reduce 4 uh, till it becomes t. Then only we can uh, reduce it to e isn't it? No. You have to uh, reduce it to t. Then only you can have the star here. So you have to keep on reducing 4 until it becomes t. So we are reducing, we are trying to reduce the 4 to t. So it becomes f first, the value 4. So the production used is f gives digit. Now again we are reducing e gives t plus nothing then f is reduced to t. So t giving 4 with t with the value 4. So the production used is t gives f. Now that we have t we can introduce that star. So I am pushing star onto this tag. So I will get 5n here and this tag is growing. e is having value 3. Now plus is having no value. This is no plus and minus. This is this means that no attribute value. Now it is t with value 4. And next it is star with value nothing. Now you can move the next symbol to this tag. That is this becomes n. And you can move e with value 3. Plus with value nothing. Attribute value nothing. t with value 4. And star with value nothing showing e with value 3 plus with no value t with value 4 star with no value and 5 on to the stack with no value. Now if you want to reduce 5, 5 should be reduced to f. Then only you can apply t star represent it. So in the next step, we will reduce e with value 3 plus with no value, t with value 4, star with value nothing and sorry. And the next step we will have e with value 3 plus with no value, t with value 4, star with no value and 5 is replaced to f, f with value 5, isn't it? See, and the next step this is f and star and t, t star f can be that the reduction, reduction used at this stage is f gives digit that is phi has been replaced by f. See I am um, rubbing from the uh, bottom. See now uh, now um, what see t star f can be replaced by t because there is a prediction t giving t star f isn't it. So t star f the top three positions can be replaced by t star f that is you will have n itself
continuing on the top. Uh, see, you will have N itself here, but on this stack you are having the T star of can be replaced by T. So you have E with value 3 plus with value nothing, then T star F has been replaced by T with the value T star F 5 into 4 20, T star F with value 20. Prediction used is T giving T star F. Sorry, T star. Now, see, this is E plus T. E plus T can be replaced by E. You know that, isn't it? E plus T is equal to E. So, this is E. The prediction used is E gives E plus T. Now, you can uh, shift this N also onto this with E plus T. The value is 23. Now you can shift N also into this tag. Then you will get nothing here. And this is E with value 23 followed by N. When this, uh, when this N and all appears, you can replace it by L gives E N. Now the value will be printed which is 23. So this is how we evaluate. With This is how we perform the bottom up evaluation of S attributed definitions. We have a stack which is implemented using two pair of arrays. First array is used to hold the uh, grammar symbol. Second array is used to hold the attribute values. Whenever a reduction can be made, we will perform the appropriate reduction. And uh, when we, um, I mean, keep on reducing grammar symbols, we just have to consider the remaining uh, symbols in the input to make the to take the correct reduction decision. So we will we got the output 23 here, and that is the output. So this is how we evaluate uh, the um, S attributed definitions bottom up using stack. And uh, when uh, as it is a stack, whenever you are uh, performing an evaluation, that is whenever you are um, reducing x, y, z into a, the top should be decremented accordingly. That's the only thing. So that is all about bottom up evaluation of S attributed definitions. Thank you. So this was the grammar used. Thank you.